Way to bury the lead, Carly. What do you saw AJ wear? Here. Here? What, here, here? After I left you last night, I needed some air. Tell me about it. I still feel that way. I had to take a cold shower. I came here, and I was looking at the water, and I heard footsteps, and I turned, and AJ was standing right there with that smirk on his face. I saw him, and I'm not crazy. I don't think you're crazy. Sonny convinced me that it was just my imagination, but now, you know, with Michael asking me all these questions and saying that he's not gone, I mean, I have to wonder. That must be Michael's secret. What secret? I know how weird all this must be for you. My best advice is for you to just try to get the whole story. Of course everyone is going to have their own side, and the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. Now, how do you know that? Because AJ sounds like a complicated guy, and I kind of know the type. You know, my mom's not perfect. I mean, she's made a lot of mistakes. And I know she can lie. I mean, without getting into too much detail, she, uh... She perjured herself. Actually, double perjured herself at a murder trial because she thought she was protecting me. All right, protecting you. See, that's the key right there. She probably thought that she was protecting you when she drugged AJ. No, I'm not defending what AJ did after. I mean, he kidnapped me, Morgan, and Christina. And this woman that he had kidnap us, had us in this big abandoned warehouse that scared the crap out of me. You know, but I couldn't escape. I couldn't leave Morgan and Christina behind. I mean, and that was before he took me away. He said that my, my, my parents didn't love me, that they, they, they didn't want me. She is capable of some pretty awful things. Yeah, but he, he didn't start it. My whole life, I thought he started it. Hey, where are you going? AJ Michael? said he wanted to talk some more. I'm ready to listen. I know, but wait. You seem really wound up. Are you sure you want to do this right now? Alice, I can't thank you enough. I mean, wow, I really owe you for taking out on Tracy. I think nothing of it. I can't tell you how many times I've wanted to do that. Listen, she isn't hurt, is she? Are you kidding? She's having the best sleep of her life. She's going to wake up in 20 minutes feeling fresh as a daisy. And then she's going to call the cops again. You're right, Mom. You know, now that she's seen me, she's not going to be happy till I'm in handcuffs. Well, I am open for suggestions. Anybody have any idea what to do? Well, we could kill her. Tracy, I can't do that. I'm a doctor. I respect human lives, Mom, even if it is, Tracy. Mom, I was kidding. Just relax. Well, your sense of humor certainly hasn't changed. Yeah, well, I'm not going to be laughing if Tracy turns me in. She always did hate me. Well, she's jealous. Ned is an Ashton. Look, I hate to break this up, but we've got to figure out what you guys are going to do with her, because I think she's going to wake up in about 15 minutes. Now, this is right. We definitely need to figure out a way to keep Tracy from shooting off her big mouth. Hey, I'm really sorry that you have all this stuff with AJ going on. It's, it's not easy when you have two people that you love fighting over you and worse, using you to justify hurting each other. And that means a lot to me. That I'm worried or that I'm in a unique position to empathize? I'm both. <laughs> Look, I'm, uh... I'm really glad I told you about this. I knew I could trust you. See ya. Good luck. Thanks. What secret? Uh, it's probably nothing. I, I don't know. Michael told Star that, that he had a secret, but Star didn't tell me if what it was. If I saw AJ, that means nothing. Michael could have probably seen AJ. Thank you. Don't, please. Thank you. Okay, don't thank go. you. Thank you for I... listening to me and for letting me in and just for everything, okay? My pleasure. I like being your friend. I really want to be your friend so that you can ruin our friendship by sleeping with me. My wife has no leverage on me. There is no secret agreement. We love each other. May I please sit down now? Yes, you may step down. You're welcome. Never underestimate. 
underestimate the power of self-preservation. Because if you did open up your mouth up there, you'd be the one to be locked up. Right? You know, he's had such a long day mm. today, so if there are any questions you want to ask him, you can just ask me and I'll answer any of them. <laughs> of course. I'm sure you two know each other so well, you could finish each other's sentences. Uh -huh. But I like to hear from both prospective parents. Great. So, why don't you tell me about your job? My job? My job is good. There's really, you know, not that much else to tell about it. <laughs> I'm surprised to hear that. You are? Well, I'd assume your job would be fairly interesting. I mean, aren't you a police detective? Yes. Yes, I am. I am a police detective. <laughs> um, you know, honestly, it's pretty, uh, I don't know, a lot of paperwork. You, you mm -hmm. really wouldn't know that. I mean, I'm speaking for you, but I think it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty dull. Yeah, like watching paint dry. Well, in either case, it's a very admirable profession. I'm sure your parents are very proud. Oh, uh, they're proud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't you tell me more about them? Because they seem like colorful characters. I mean, on paper, at least. That much is true. <laughs> well, your father, uh, Michael Carinthos, well, he's in an interesting business. That's one word for it, what he does, yeah. <laughs> he's, I love a good shot in the dark. It's coffee with a shot of espresso in yeah, it. Yeah, because he's in the coffee business. Yeah, I just, I've never tried that drink before. Um, you should. Wakes you right up. Might make that desk job of yours a little more exciting. All right, all right. I will, I will give it a try next time I'm there. You know, I'm surprised you're not up on your latest coffee trends. Maybe your father doesn't talk about his innovations? His what? Don't be so modest. I mean, he practically revolutionized the coffee business by inventing those little cups of single-serve coffee. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is how he made his fortune, right? Or did I misread your application? No. Mr. Scully, isn't it true that you have only just recently met your mother? Yes. And despite this admittedly brief relationship, you expect this court to believe that you are so concerned about her well-being that you want to have her committed. Look, I can assure you that me committing Connie to Shady Brook has nothing to do with revenge. And, and nobody manipulated me into doing this. So you're not upset that she rejected you? No. I'm sorry, it's my understanding that you were actually abandoned as an infant, that you were left behind in a dresser drawer in some godforsaken boarding house. Now, I, if it were me, I would be upset. I might even want to make my mother pay for the way she treated me. Yeah, well, that's you. So you're not in court today to have your mother committed as some sort of payback? I'm here today because I have a friend that was hurt by Connie, and I don't want to see that happen to anybody else. She is dangerous, she's a sick woman, and she needs help. So this is all about helping her. You're here due to your deep altruistic nature. I never said I was Isn't a saint. Isn't it true that you are a reality show producer and that you tried to get my client's confession on tape to broadcast on a failed reality television show called Mob Princess? You made your point, Counselor, and so is this witness. Yes, indeed, Your Honor. I believe we both have. Thank you. No further questions. Ms. Davis. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Scully. This is something more to you than getting Connie off the streets, isn't it? Aren't you hoping to have a relationship with your mother? Yes. But that can't happen unless she gets some help. Thank you, Mr. Scully. At this time, we'll take a short recess while I consider my decision. All rise. People, I think, created a little bit of damage in the judge about that little bastard sob story. Right? It's a good thing. Because I got an ace in the hole. Oh. Your Honor, if I may address the court. What is it, Miss Miller? Before you actually hand down your ruling, I would like to move that Mr. Scully's petition to have my client committed be dismissed. On what grounds? The petitioner maintains that my client is an altar a symptom of Kate Howard's illness, when in fact, the opposite is true. Kate Howard is the altar, a secondary personality manifested by my client, a true and actual person, the real woman, Constanza Louise Connie Falconeri. And Dante, uh, tell me about your mother. What does she do again? 
Um, she's a... She's a preacher. She is. No, she's not. She's... Look, she's manager of the Metro Court Hotel. I see. And isn't that the same hotel where she was injected with a massive dose of LSD, which subsequently led to her hospitalization for severe hallucinations? Uh... How did you know that? I did my homework. Really, Mr. and Mrs. Falconeri, how stupid do you think I am? I'm well aware that everything in this application is a lie. You're back so soon? Good question for you. I already gave you my answer. I'm not moving in with you. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to reconsider. Okay, the <clears throat> secret, the one that Michael had, the one that you wouldn't tell me, is A.J. Quarterman still alive? Why would you ask me that's that? Perfect. I think that's my answer. What the hell's going on here? Why, Carly, what a surprise. You can save the cover story. Where's AJ? Okay, easy, easy. Okay. There's one problem solved. Yeah. For now. Who's that? AJ. It's me, Michael. What are you gonna do?